fish kiln was always the top of everything. I absolutely think it's so important for children to have music. I mean, it's a massively enriching thing. I think it's a brilliant thing to do. It's a great opportunity to improve your craft. I think I just say it's something where people play their instruments. <laughs> It has been such a part of my life uh, that I, I would hardly envisage my life without the Fesh Kill. My name is Claire Austin and I study with Young European Strings and I was taking part in the St Cecilia Cup today. Well, it's by Manuel de Falla. It's a Spanish dance and it was arranged by Chrysler. It's just really fun to play. Like there's so many different parts of it and it shows off lots of different techniques and different skills that you have to have to play it. And then once it's actually working and going well, it's really enjoyable to play. Like I'm in fifth year now, so it's a lot about deciding what you want to do in your future. And the more I think about it, the more music is one of the main things that I would want to pursue after school. Fesh, like everyone talks about it, it's probably the most famous competition in Ireland. Like everyone wants to be here, everyone wants to participate, and especially like everyone wants to win. If they win, they feel like they're the best. <laughs> it's it's a bit of crack. Everyone has fun, but uh, we're serious as well about the competitions. I think the, the fishes in uh, Ireland are just critical. I think the, 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 the thing about competing about against people of your own age or peers is key, always key. Uh, and that's what I think is crucial about something like Fesh Cool because it brings people, actually not just from Dublin, but I've seen from all over Ireland, together. And you get a sense of where you're at and it, it helps to drive, drive people on to become better. So it's absolutely crucial. In a way, when all the preparation is done in advance, the exciting thing is then just letting it fly and see what happens. And, um, you know, year on year, there'd be people who would have started maybe quite young in the junior categories. We see them come back again and again and again, winning competitions at a, at a, at a higher level. Just having the variety of things going on every day and the buzz of having people, you know, with their cellos on their backs and then, you know, arriving with the orchestras, arriving with their instruments and people tuning up their, warming up their voices before the vocal competitions. It really adds to uh, a great atmosphere. And every year before it starts, you sort of forget again how exciting it is and then once it gets going you just get straight back into it and it's really fantastic. My name is Bill Dowdall, I'm Head of Wind, Brass and Percussion 
or persecution as we call it in the Royal Irish Academy of Music, and I play the flute. Well, he's my grandson. He's my granddad. <laughs> Family is involved in music, and we actually do play quite a bit of music together. But we're not, it's not like the Waltons or something. I mean, but we're more likely to be found playing pool or poker together. But we do perform together now and again, which is really nice. I'm Hannah McCauley. I'm Martina Dempsey. Um, I'm 14, and I'm from Dublin. And today I won the Junior B Flute Cup. <laughs> <laughs> and I think what's great about it as well is it's a national competition, so, you know, it's not just one group of students that you see all the time in, in, in the same music school, for example. So I think it really opens their eyes in terms of, and, and as a parent, you see the breadth of talent that exists, even at a very young age, I think it's really amazing. Honest to God, every time she performs, I can hear my heart thumping in my ears, and uh, she seems very cool. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Alex Smith, and I go to St. Patrick's Cathedral Choir School. What me and my singing teacher aim for is that we try and get the songs as well known as possible and we just really learn and put effort and feeling into the song. I'm Julie Feeney and I was judging the national category. Uh, I had the pleasure of listening to lots of uh, beautiful choirs and lots of Irish language singing. So it's been really interesting for me uh, as a composer and a singer to see performances when they're put back to back, how they compare and who ultimately, um, who excels the most. I love being backstage, it's just really fun waiting to go on stage with them. Um, you're really nervous when you walk on but then when you start playing the cello you just kind of get into it and all the nerves just go away. I think she, she took up the fiddle first, but she doesn't do that now, it's just the cello. And her brother is doing piano and violin. So that's, it passes from one generation to the next. It's an opportunity for kids of all ages to uh, take part and to get out there and to perform. And when you're good at something and when you have a talent for something, well, it's always enjoyable to do it. And I think it's always a good thing for people to get out there and show others that you can do it.
choir is made up of fifth and sixth class in our school and there's 37 people here singing today um, in a unison competition. So all one, one voice, no, it's just one part in the competition. It's really fun to be in the choir because you get to go on loads of trips to competitions and it's really fun to learn new songs. Miss Ferguson is our conductor and she wants us to like show them, the judges, our facial expressions and stand still. My Lord deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel. Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? And why not Ivory? Hallelujah. My name is uh, Colin Murphy and I'm head of music in St Paul's High School in Bestbrook outside Newry. Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? From the lion's den. A journal. From the belly of the whale and the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace. Ivory man. I always tell the students that it's, it's, not, it's not about coming down to win, you know what I mean, to compete to win, that's not what it's about. It's about giving them the experience, of experience a different environment. Um, they, they get to hear a lot of music here um, from, from schools that are extremely polished in their choirs. And uh, we've had a wonderful experience here today. school choir who actually wins the award this evening is St Bridget's Choir from Castle Knock. The wonder of the fesh every year is that it, it, it starts in you every on the first Monday it starts in you and the vitality and the energy that is generated around this complex here in Wallsbridge is absolutely astonishing because every nearly everybody is new or at least you have a core of very new people every year it's their first experience of it and they've heard a lot about the fish maybe brothers or sisters parents and indeed grandparents we have generational thing we have people coming with their grandchildren and they performed 30 40 50 years ago in the fish so it's a new and a vibrant thing for all the youngsters that come in and we respond to that because i always maintain that the fish the fish is of the past wonderful and we mem we remember them we cherish the past but we embrace the future. We embrace the now and the future, and it's this year's fish always that is the, the big issue for us. We embrace what is happening right now. Uh, my name's Colm Do, and I'm from China, and I play the classical guitar. I've been playing the classical guitar for around two and a half years. 
I do get nervous before I go on the stage, and then, but it's actually not too bad when you get it over with. It's a competition, but if you think you played well, then you're your own champion. Thomas. I was born in Amsterdam and I play the piano, the organ and the drums. Well, it was called the Sarah Cooper Junior Organ Competition for Feshkill. I made a couple of mistakes which I wasn't very happy about, but then in the end it turned out that I won. I think all the people within it, um, whether they win or lose, take a, a great lot away from it. And it's a, a very good um, picture, I think, of Ireland to the world of the rich heritage and culture you have here. I'm Elaine Kelly. Um, I'm a choral and orchestral conductor based in Cork. And today I was part of the final of the ESB Fesh Kjol Orchestral Conducting Competition, conducting the Orti Concert Orchestra. We've been waiting for it for so long, and it's amazing to finally have um, a conducting competition, you know. It was incredible. It was an absolute honour to have the opportunity to conduct them today. It really was. Um, to come into such a group, they're all so friendly, they're so nice, and they follow you so, so well that you, you felt you could do anything, and they were behind you all the time. My name is Karen Lee Vren, and I want to be a professional conductor. I didn't think at this stage of my career I'd, I'd, I'd be this far, which is just overnight, literally overnight. It's incredible. You know, you aim to get to the top of where you want to be, and within Ireland, that is this orchestra. And so you dream, yeah, one day we'll get there, we'll keep studying. But as I said, overnight, you don't expect to be standing up in front of them with that power. So you'll always be asked the question, what does the conductor do? And uh, to, the, to the person that's not musically minded, it, it's hard to explain because they think that you just wave about and that the orchestra respond. And to a certain extent, they're right, but you have to move in the right way. So every action, it's like physics, every action has a reaction and you have to have the right action to get the right reaction. My name is Killian Farrell and I'm here in the final of the ESB Feshkill Conducting Competition. You're looking at getting exactly what you hear in your head from the orchestra. So we're trying to think of all the details, trying to get them out, and also trying to give them their own freedom to play as they want to as well. It's, it's trying to strike that balance. Fantastic. I mean, <laughs> how many other times do young conductors like me get to have a, have a go with the RT Concert Orchestra? It's really fantastic. I suppose I would describe it as the largest classical music festival in the country. Standards are high and it is, I suppose, one of the aims of the FESH to ensure that we present students with an international standard here. That's why we get international adjudicators to come, to ensure that it, while it remains a national competition, that the standard can be uh, aligned with some of the best competitions in Europe and indeed around the world. 
so many people have come through the hands of the fetish and they've done well afterwards, I think they would all agree that it was an important step along the way, a very important step, because it just provides that environment where you go up, you perform, you're criticised publicly and you take what's coming to you and if it goes right for you and you end up with that cup under your arm or whatever, you know, that is the feeling that you replicate for the rest of your life outside of competition. If you give a perform, you give a recital, you're giving, playing in an orchestra or whatever, it's that high that you get. That starts here. That starts here. The purpose of the gala is to showcase uh, a number of really high quality winners. The winners that we have chosen to perform can just go out and give it everything they've got. I'm Clara Daly Donnellan, I'm 18 years old, I play the tenor trombone and I won both the Yamaha Brass Bursary Prize and the overall um, ESB Fish Kill RDS 10,000 Euro Bursary. <laughs> I think it's a hugely important thing. I mean, the opportunity for young Irish musicians to go out there and perform and get the performance experience, uh, even at, from a young age, it's so important to go out and to perform as much as possible because in the end, if you want to be a musician, performing is what you're going to do for the rest of your life. So for, for ESB Festival to provide that opportunity to people is just so valuable for their whole lives. And it's, yeah, I just think it's a fantastic opportunity. how indebted we are to the people who envisaged this. And little would they think, those people, that group of people who were striving for excellence in classical music, because there was no platform for it at the time, and there still isn't other than the Fesh Hill. And they had the vision to look forward, and I'm sure if they're looking down on us or, or from wherever, they would be astonished to think that it all started in 1897, with 48 competitions, and today we have 190 competitions embracing all the genres of classical music. I've no doubt they'd be thrilled. <laughs>